So this time on component close-up, I thought we'd have a look at some comp some components, which to me are a little bit ordinary because I'm very familiar with the rather older types of components. This particular session we're going to look at capacitors and the kind of capacitors that were very commonplace in electronic circuits that I was looking at in my teenage years when I first got into electronics. Uh, in particular, uh, made in England, the very fine Mullard capacitors. Uh, we may find some Philips ones as well in here. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at some interesting, I hope interesting, capacitors. I'm just going to move that out of the way, a bit distracting, uh, and look at the components themselves. Um, so, let's start with everybody's favourite, the Mullard C280. Now, this is uh, a very common component. I find this kind of thing in all sorts of radios, televisions, uh, that kind of thing. Um, it's a dipped construction. There's a ceramic um, brown stuff here. It's a ceramic of some sort. Um, it's dipped into paint for the colour coding. Now, if you read that as if it was a resistor, that would be one mega ohm. So this is actually a million picofarads, so one microfarad. This is a one microfarad capacitor. Um, I think the yellow, sorry, the, the uh, white and the red tell you about tolerance and voltage rating. Um, this one, if it was a resistor, it would be 470k, so that's 0.47 microfarads. A uh, very common one here is the 100k or 0.1 microfarad. So they were very commonly seen, uh, often called tropical fish or sometimes licorice all sort. This one's a bit of a licorice all sort, that one more tropical fish. Really. Um, commonly seen in TVs and radios in the 60s, 70s, into the 80s. I don't think they're made anymore now, but that's the, the Mullard uh, C280. Also by Mallard, these things. Um, these are also these days known as mustard capacitors because of their colour. Come on, focus. That's it. Um, there's a very nicely... Look at the typography on that. 0 0.1 microfarad, 10%, 160 volt. 160 volt. There, these, are device, these are components which were suitable for use in valve circuitry. Their voltage ratings in those days much higher than we'd see today because no one wants 160 volt capacitor nowadays. 16 volt would be enough. Um, but back in the days, these components, very common to find them, uh, quite high voltage ratings. There's a 1 microfarad, 160 volt. Um, what else have we got in the way of mustard capacitors? There's one. Uh, again, 160 volt, 0 0.01 microfarads. Yeah, OK. Uh, speaking of high voltage ratings, um, in, the, in, in the days of valve TVs and radios, we still had higher ratings still. Here's a 0 0.01 microfarad, 600 volt DC working, it says on that. Um, now, any sign of a maker's name? Not like a du, du ah yes, no, maybe you can make it out there. Dubillier, I think that's a French company. Don't know what happened to them, but they made these capacitors, which were quite characteristic, moulded plastic with. Um, you can see on the end of it there, it's kind of two colour. It's um, blue and yellow. It looks like the yellow has got a clip which takes the capacitor body itself, and then the blue is moulded in on top of that. I've got a couple of those. There's another one over here, a bigger one. What's that one? What's the rating? 0.1 microfarad. Again, 600 volts DC. And the maker's name on the back is uh, hard to read. I don't know why they put a sleeve over it. This plastic sleeve has become quite discoloured. That's heat from a valve nearby, or a hot resistor, or a hot transformer, or something near near to this um, component. Uh, it would probably have originally been um, quite a bit 
clearer than that. The brown is heat discoloration. Let's have a look at this one. What have we got here? And that is a one microfarad Philips. This is much more modern. This is into the 80s, I think. They're very much more a rectangular, maybe a polyester capacitor. Uh, much more modern looking thing. Um, to bring the thing up to date entirely, there is a... Um, this is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And there it is. Um, yeah, tiny, isn't it? Ceramic capacitor decoupling type um what about this then this is a 1000 picofarad i think it says five percent on there and you can just see that well, it's broken off on the corner here you can just see that there's something in there that's actually mica this is a mica capacitor the mica is metal coated on one side to make a um well, on both sides in fact to make the electrodes um the mica acts as an insulator a mica is a naturally occurring mineral and it uh, cleaves into very thin layers a little bit a bit like slate does um so these were very common in uh valve uh, radios and that sort of thing probably diesel this from a valve radio or tv of some sort um let's go back a bit further uh what's this one this is made by sprague one uh, point one microfarad times at 400 volt these things if you see these in the valve radio hmm it's not quite replace on site but be suspicious of these a lot of the capacitors that look a bit like this um they've proved to not be very reliable and uh, better to replace in a lot of cases uh, another one that uh, people often talk about, just replace them on site, is the Hunts capacitor. There's 150 volt 0.05 microfarad. Yep. Sometimes the ends fall off. You, you find the thing is just cracked and the ends have fallen off. Uh, which is bad. We, we don't want capacitors to have their ends fall off like that. We want them to stay in one piece. What's this one? Um, this blurry capacitor is, come on, the Weimar mks one microfarad 63 volt uh, so moderate voltage rating um, a very uh, standard looking thing here the disc ceramic i don't know what value that is 47k i have to work out the um, multiplier on that this is made by erie just a simple disc with the two wires attached one on each side and the ceramic capacitance material in the middle. It's a similar construction, in fact, to the modern one, just a lot bigger, um, probably a higher voltage rating, and the ceramic material not as good a dielectric as we have nowadays. And I think this is the last couple I've got here. This is another, another Weimar. Uh, this one is 2.2 um, microfarads in a lovely square package quite a modern capacitor this one probably into the 90s at this point um and we've also got this one which is 10 nanofarads and you can see the epoxy encapsulation on the bottom of this thing um designed for pcb mounting whereas many of the earlier ones this this kind of thing would have been attached to a tag strip uh, printed circuit boards would have been um, not unheard of, but rare in the days when this capacitor was in use. It would have been more likely to be designed to work with a tag strip. So I think that's all the capacitors I have in my selection of interesting vintage components for this session of component close-up. Let's just go back to the, uh, the very good-looking um, Mallard C280 tropical fish capacitors. Um, so there we have it some interesting um, capacitors for this session of component close-up I'll do another one at some point in the near future I'll focus on uh, resistors and I'll have another look uh, at some germanium transistors and uh, I'll see if I can find some interesting diodes and things like that as well